two, one, go. Hey guys, I know it's been a little while since I've done any tutorials, and I tell you, I have been chomping at the bit to get this one done. I just haven't been able to find the time, uh, especially the time in a quiet house, but wife took the kids to the trampoline jumpy place, whatever, so I'm going to see if I can knock this one out. I have been trying for quite some time, for a couple of years now, to figure out the best way to use luminosity masking for astrophotography. I just knew there was something there, couldn't quite get it figured out. I, I would play with it for a couple of weeks and then I'd have to put it away because I wasn't getting anywhere. I do tutorials, I tried several different luminosity masking programs. Finally, 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 I came back to RyaPro, uh, Jimmy McIntyre's RyaPro, and I watched a couple of tutorials that he did, and a light went on, and I saw a fantastic place to be able to use luminosity masking in night sky photography, uh, and especially in my nightscapes. Um, the image that I'm going to do uh, going to do in this tutorial is an image was a pretty neat image uh, this is Sunset Beach North Carolina got behind the dunes uh, shot the, the Milky Way this was back in June and once I started playing with luminosity masking this is the image that I was able to come up with uh, significantly darker sky and I'm going to show you how I did that so whoops grabbed the wrong thing here we go, back to that. Let's move that out of the way. That's going to be my final image. Okay, so what I start with uh, is import the images into Lightroom. And my first step always is to go in and change the white balance. I shoot daylight white balance. Uh, I, I find it difficult to shoot auto white balance shooting night sky because the camera's never going to get it so I just set them all to the same thing that way I know they're all at the same white balance they're all at daylight I changed to auto to see what maybe auto will do but I'm not I don't really like that all that much so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this one down a little bit um, yeah I, I like that a little bit better um, so once I get my white balance done and my white balance is the only thing I'm going to touch on this first run through light run I'm going to then choose all of the photos in that stack remember I shoot stacked so this was it was actually a seven shot stack but I had my first shot that came out for usually the first shot I take verifies verifies exposure, it verifies focus, and it verifies that I've got a decent composition, and then I have to take seven shots after that. Uh, in Lightroom, I go in and I choose all these shots, and I sync the settings, and then I export them all to a folder as TIFF files, and then I run through star stacks. I'm not going to do, correction, I'm sorry, then I run through uh, Starry Landscape Stacker to come out with a really super crisp relatively noise free image um, out of these I'm not going to show that step I've got a tutorial that shows how my work my workflow is from Lightroom into Starry Landscape Stacker and then back into Photoshop so I'm not going to go through all that what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm simply going to show you the steps that I took in Photoshop to use the luminosity masking so I've already done starry landscape stacker I've already gotten through all that and I end up with this it's a, a crisp let's let it load up nice crisp um, TIFF file that has come out of starry landscape stacker and from there, I take the TIFF file 
and I send it to Photoshop. I'm going to edit with Lightroom adjustments. Uh, well, let me show you that in the develop module. I, I have made some adjustments in Lightroom. Again, I'll go through all that. If you you can watch my workflow for basic uh, night sky, and you can see uh, how I go in and take the highlights out and. Um, actually add a couple of local adjustment brushes and or a couple of local adjustment and it, it shows how I add a couple of local adjustments how I can um, put some dehaze in the sky but as you can see with this image there's a lot of haze in the sky and so it's gonna ultimately cause me some trouble I really like the image but the sky is just a little bit hazier than I wanted it was a really warm night um, so I'm going to take that image and send it over to Photoshop. I'm going to edit the copy with Lightroom adjustments. So here I've got my basic image that has come over from Lightroom. And you can already see I've got the layers done. I'm, I really want to sh use this tutorial just to show you the luminosity masking parts of it so I'm going to run through the rest of this quickly I'm just going to load the the layers um, I run Clarisky if you haven't seen Clarisky uh, it's an action here that um, will let you clean up clean up your night sky shots a bit um, I'll put a link to to that action in the show notes here um, the second thing I do is I run Nick collection Pro contrast to give me a little bit more contrast on on my images. It helps lighten up the foreground a little bit more, and it'll darken my backgrounds. Uh, I did load a luminar filter. Um, I don't think I've done a luminar tutorial yet, but I will. Uh, luminar is a great tool that you can leverage for night sky photography. And uh, I'll, I'll there again. I'll show you how to do. I'll show that again as well. Um, the layer that I really want to show you that that has actually done the, the most for this image um, is shadow layer and you see how that darkens that down I'm going to show you how I've done that um, from my luminar filter from my, my luminar layer here I'm using Araya Pro 4.0 and I got the idea for this by going through the dodge and burn tutorial that Jimmy McIntyre did so on the Raya Pro 4, I'm going to bring up the Dodge and Burn tool. And what I want to do is I want to dodge, I want to burn the shadows. So I want to choose a shadow mask. And as we know with basic masking, um, white reveals, black conceals. So I'm going to come in. I don't want to really work on all of this stuff so as you can see I'm gonna bring I'm gonna adjust this mask just a little bit so that I'm not just basically painting the whole thing but as you'll see these lighter parts of the sky and all of the stars they're they're all blacked out so they will not be affected by this brush or, or by this adjustment in any way I'm going to click OK and it's going to go ahead and load that mask and I'm going to choose brush. I'm going to select about a 15% brush that's got a flow of 33 uh, with 10% smoothing and you can see that it's set to black. I'm going to go ahead and hide that and just make a couple of passes. We're burning so it's using black. I like to use a low percentage because you can get a little go a little bit overboard. It's real easy to go too far too fast with this, but at 15%, you're not really too much worried about that. So I'm just continuing to paint at 15% using black, and you can see it's really darkening the sky out.
Let me go ahead and kill that layer, and we're going to bring up the finished product here. Here's my dark layer, what it, what it ultimately looked like. Um, and I added in a lighten layer. So you see where I'm going with this. It, it's gonna, it, it, it takes a little while. Um, it takes some adjustments with the mask. Um, I'm going to go ahead and knock that layer out because I've already got one in there. And I'll, I'll show you, there's my, there's my, my finished darkened layer. And I've gone in and done the same thing on the dodge and burn, but I've done highlights. And you see the opposite is true. What I'd like to do is target some of these areas and some of the lighter areas in this image. Always remember white reveals, black conceals. And we'll hit OK. And then the brush is going to obviously be in white on this one. So I'll be able to come in and lighten a bit of this foreground. Lighten the stars a bit. You can also take this dark mask using the white brush and make it a little bit smaller and you can add just a little bit of lightness in here. I like the way that did that. It's a little bit too much. I got it turned up just a little bit too high. But you can see you can use your, your darks mask to go in and brighten up some of the darker areas and there's your finished image. Um, it has gone from this image, which isn't a bad image, it's, but you can obviously see it's got some haze in the sky, to this image. You can still see a bit of the haze, but it's been darkened out, and it's got a lot of really neat stars and, and a lot of really neat detail in there. Obviously, I've used Raya Pro 4 for this. But it, it's possible to use any luminosity masking program that you currently use, uh, whichever one you like. The, the basic principles are you're going to create the mask based on the shadows and the lights, and then you're going to dodge and burn using those. I know it's not earth shaking, but I've, I haven't really seen anybody do this with night sky photography yet. So, um, I'm going to try and offer people a shortcut to get a little bit clearer, a little bit blacker skies. Hope this helps you. Please, please, please consider checking out my Patreon page and helping to support me so that I can start making some more of these great tutorial videos and continue to produce some great dark sky nightscape images. Thanks for watching.